بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورز ویلکم ٹو اینڈر ایڈیشن آف ڈیفینس اینڈ ڈپلومیسی آئی ایم یور ہوسٹ سلطان ایم حالی اٹس ویری ریئر بٹ آئی ہیو این اینکر پرسن ایز مائی گیسٹ بٹ دین دا اینکر پرسن وی ہیو ایز آر گیسٹ ٹو ڈے از نو آرڈینری اینکر پرسن ہی از چائناز ٹاپ موسٹ ٹی وی ٹاک شو ہوسٹ نن ادر دین مسٹر یانگ رے ویلکم ٹو دا اسٹوڈیو تھینک یو ہیلی فار ہیونگ می ہیئر آن یور رینان پروگرام you welcome uh, for the sake of uh, the viewers if you allow me let me give a very short introduction because some of them may not be watching cctv uh, viewers young ray started his career with the china national radio and then he moved on to television he is the host of china's very prominent talk show called dialogue which covers international national issues and it is formatted like the larry king live show in one of the interviews to a magazine young ray happened to comment when he was asked what does he do when unpleasantness arises during a talk and he said that i try to present myself as the spokesperson for my country and not only for myself so young yeah, how do you elaborate that that's a very important tip for our tv show anchors since the opening uh, opening up of China started three decades ago. The image of China became a focus of a global debates. Um, that's why we set up the English Channel 11 years ago to uh, provide the Chinese perspectives. And when dialogue first came into being, no one knew clearly what this program actually meant. But we realized later on that uh, we we enjoy a growing following growing army of uh, viewers across the whole world and a lot of them are also in china because we have millions of language learners now when you talk about my own image it's not about myself really it's uh, my name and my image are the symbol of a country on the rise and uh, our rapid integration into the rest of the world has generated so many debates as to the global and regional implications whether we pose any threat to our neighboring countries or the existing international economic and political order uh, certainly we have different values in this different social system but does it mean that uh, we would have zero tolerance for differences or the other way around this is a question that i keep asking in hundreds of editions of dialogue that I have with uh, elites, uh, politicians, policy makers uh, from around the whole world. I never take myself as uh, an ordinary anchor in the sense because uh, China needs to have a dialogue. Indeed, uh, well said. And uh, I hope uh, we take a lesson from what you have just presented because I have been watching some of your shows and especially on the eve of uh, this particular program because I wanted to know more about you. And I must say that I was impressed, especially the shows you did on the recent visit of uh, Robert Gates, the U.S. Mm -hmm. Defense Secretary to China, also the J-20 test that was carried out, the stealth fighter of China in that particular period, which the U.S. claimed was a flexing of muscles and to sh uh, s uh, give a message to Mr. Gates. But uh, you think otherwise. What is your opinion of Mr. Gates' visit to China? Um, the purpose of uh, Secretary Robert Gates' uh, recent visit to the PRC was meant to uh, avoid the risk of miscalculation and resume the military-to-military -military ties, which are increasingly important for maintaining peace and stability in East Asia. Now, the reason why China decided to suspend uh, the proposed visit that should have taken place last June was uh, Uh, largely because of the U.S. decision to sell 6.4 billion U.S. dollars worth of arms sales to Taiwan, which is regarded by the mainland of the PRC as a renegade province since the end of the civil strife in 1949. This time around, um, Secretary Robert Gates was given a red carpet ceremony to showcase China's uh, uh, sincerity in uh, r introducing a genuine dialogue about the mutual trust or why mistrust has long existed between us and uh, during his visit uh, the test flight of a J-20 was carried out in Chengdu 
um, Sichuan province in southwestern China, and this immediately became the headline making stories. Uh, the American perspective uh, argues strongly that this is intended to uh, embarrass the U.S. and to uh, flex its muscles. The Chinese would say, hey, <clears throat> at least among all other allegations, the Chinese wants to promote the transparency of a military build-up. Now, having said this, we all agree that there is no absolute transparency about the uh, sensitive and classified defense information uh, to see nothing of a relationship between the, the so superpower following the demise of the former Soviet Union and a rising power of China. Now, don't forget, the annual defense budget of the Pentagon is half a trillion, yes. and China's is only a fraction of it. Absolutely. And with the growing global stakes of China, because we are fast becoming a global economic player, we have become the second biggest economy, uh, we need a strong defense force to safeguard our national interests, and some of which are the core interests. Right. And, but talking about defense, you see, there is a definite military imbalance between the USA and China. And uh, one of the reasons why probably the J-20 stealth fighter is being developed is because it can also target the aircraft carrier. And the aircraft carrier of the U.S. happened to be in the South China and the East China Sea, which can pose a threat to China. And especially, I mean, you know, this is my perspective, they have no business to be there. So if China is developing the stealth fighter, especially when it does not have any of its own aircraft carrier, I personally see no problem with that. What is your opinion? Hali, um, yes, we draw inspirations from the high-tech warfare that first broke out since the, sec the first and second Gulf Wars. Uh, Rumsfeld, former Secretary of State of the uh, U.S. military, uh, talked smart about uh, having zero casualties uh, after the invasion of uh, Iraq, or uh, in the first case of uh, ousting Saddam Hussein from Kuwait in the first Gulf War. Now, China has uh, since then developed a sense of urgency in safeguarding our national security because uh, it's true that bilateral relationship between Washington and Beijing was normalized in, in 1979 under the Carter administration, but quickly following the announcement of the uh, uh, normalization of the bilateral relationship, the Taiwan Relations Act came into being in the same year. Uh, it means the U.S. is held responsible and maintains the commitment to the defense of Taiwan, quote-unquote. Now, this is a, a serious violation of our sovereignty because we never give up the idea that Taiwan has been an integral part of our sovereignty. The development of high-tech um, military technologies, especially the uh, stealth fighter jet like J-20, I believe personally, is intended to deter any hostile forces that may help the pro-secession forces in the island of Taiwan. It does not target any other party. Uh, two, we are ready and we stand ready to safeguard our fundamental interests in South China Sea, in East China Sea. But China never ever threatened to use the advanced weaponry the way the U.S. has been doing to jeopardize our national interests. I fully agree with you because, uh, you see, it is our own philosophy also that weakness only invites aggression and offense is the best defense, I mean preparing for an offense. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Prime Minister of China, Wen Jiabo, who visited uh, Pakistan last month. It was a very successful visit. He was very heartily received and we in Pakistan felt very heartened by this particular visit because we get foreign visitors nearly once every week. Mm -hmm. But most of them come here, they look around, but they threaten us. Premier Wen Jiabao came as a friend, promised us so many development projects that it heartened and raised our morale. This is a, a one, of the, uh, one of the reasons why I have been brought to Islamabad. Uh, for years and years, Pakistan remains a beautiful name. It remains the name of a true friend 